Hi everyone, welcome back to Videos with Welty. My name is Darcy and today I want to talk to you all about constellations. Now constellations are groups of stars that form patterns. Have you ever looked up on a clear night and seen billions and billions of stars? And then you noticed that some of these groups of stars start to form patterns. Now these patterns might even start to look like people, animals, or other things. There are 88 official constellations found in our night sky. These constellations have been studied for thousands and thousands of years. Ancient cultures used to come up with stories or legends of how and why these constellations are found in our night sky. Now today I wanted to share with you all a fun activity for your whole family to do. And this activity is called constellation tubes. Now constellation tubes are a fun craft for you to practice learning your constellations before looking for them in your own night sky in your own backyard. So for our constellation tube craft today, the supplies that you're going to need are the following. So you'll need paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. Uh, so for a paper towel roll, you can cut it in half or even in thirds to make them a little bit smaller so that you have more uh, tubes. Then you're also going to need a cup with a wide uh, top uh, to get our larger circles. Then you're also going to need something small but sharp to poke our holes into our patterns for our constellations. So I'm going to be using a paper clip. Uh, what you can also use is either a tack or a thumbtack or um, even the tip of a pencil if it's sharp enough. Uh, then you're also going to need rubber bands or tape. You can also use to secure the constellation to the top of your tube. Then you're also going to need scissors as well as a glue stick or some form of Elmer's glue. And then you're also going to need the pattern for the constellation, so the different circles that I'll have attached down below as well as some thicker paper uh, to block out the light. So I use, I'm using an old file folder, uh, or you can use construction paper, or if you don't have any of those, you can also use thin cardboard, so like from a cereal box or from a pizza box. Uh, so let's get started. Now first what you're going to do is you are going to cut out the different circles or patterns. Now as you can see here, I already cut some out. And what you're going to do is you're going to leave this tab that gives you uh, the description or what that constellation is. You can also later on write this on the side of the paper towel tube uh, so that you know which constellations you're looking at. So you cut them out in a circle with the tab still down. And once you're finished cutting all of those out, what you're going to do is you're going to take a cup and that thicker piece of paper and you're going to start tracing circles, uh, much larger circles on that piece of paper, just like I'm doing here. And you're going to trace those out using that the wide circle. And you're going to get something that looks like this. Now after that, what you're going to do is you're going to take those smaller, the constellation cutouts from that pattern, and you're going to glue them to the inside of your that, those larger circles. So you're going to glue it down just like so. So let that glue dry. Uh, then what you're going to do is once you glue them into your circles like I have done here, you're going to cut out those larger circles. So you'll get something very similar like this. Then what you're going to do is what I recommend is drawing lines on an angle that we're eventually going to cut. And this will make it easier for when we put the cut out uh, or the constellation onto our tubes. So we'll cut those
poke the holes where they're marked on the constellation patterns. So right now I'm doing the Ursa Major, which is the, the uh, Great Bear or part of the Big Dipper. So now that I have my holes poked, I'm just gonna make them a little bigger so I'm able to see through them. Is take one of your paper towel rolls and you're going to set that circle paper on top like so. And then you're going to work on folding the edges down so that only the constellation should be flat on top. So you might have to lift it up and bend it a little bit depending on how thick your paper is. So now that I have it folded down enough, I'm gonna grab a rubber band and I'm gonna put this rubber band around the top here to hold down my constellation pattern. Now this may be tricky and you could always decide to use tape if you may think that's easier. Um, I like to use the rubber bands or a ponytail because then you're able, if you don't have a lot of paper towel rolls, you can switch them on and off. Too. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure no light is shining in around the edges because then it will ruin the effect of looking through it at a constellation. So now we have our completed constellation tube. Now there are multiple constellations in this pattern so you can do all of them or some of the ones that are your favorites. Now how you're able to uh, look through and see the constellation is you would close the one eye that's not dominant and you would look through at a light to be able to see the constellation. Now what you could also do is you could take a flashlight and a dark room, you shine the flashlight through the one end of the tube and you'll be able to see then the constellation on the wall. But otherwise, you can keep practicing learning your constellations with our constellation tubes here, and then go outside to see if you can find them in our night sky. Now, down below in the comments and the description, you will find more links to some more information about our constellations. You'll find a link for uh, the, the stories and legends of some of our constellations found in our pattern, as well as some more links to a star chart or map. So you're able to find these constellations and uh, some more other stars or planets in our night sky. You'll also find more links or information to some awesome resources to learn more about our beautiful night sky. Thank you for joining me today and have a good one. Bye.